You said when you won that, that this medal was, could be a turning point in your fight against child slavery. And I just wonder how it's been, whether it has been or does it feel like it's going to be a turning point? It matters a lot for them, for their future and present both. It also matters a lot for the activists. I was not a celebrity uh, and I'm not a celebrity um, social worker uh, or an allied social worker. So very ordinary people, dedicated people who are fighting against exploitation of children feel quite empowered. That begins from the very first day of my schooling when I saw a boy of my age sitting outside the school and I asked my teacher and my headmaster and then my parents, everybody tried to convince me that look these are uh, poor children, it, it's quite common. So I refused to accept that day that children belonging to certain sections of society are born to work for others at the cost of their childhood and freedom and education. And I refused it even now. I decided that I should give up the caste system that time. Uh, and the easiest but the most, most difficult thing was to change the family name or surname which is normally the caste name. So I gave a new name for myself and that was Satyarthi. Uh, very simple, the seeker of truth or a student of truth. If you are not able to ensure good quality rational scientific education, the education which brings global citizenship value, if we fail in it, we fail ourselves because these children, some of them can become suicide bombers. If you don't have spare budget in education funding and development funding, take out some budget from the defense funding because the best defense for America and best defense for the rest of the world would be when the defense budget in the world would be diverted towards ensuring education to the children in those countries. Why don't we spend money on the Afghanistan children? If we were spending that much amount of money in Afghanistan and Iraq and Syria and other places and Ukraine and other places, then we were not facing these problems which are facing today. A large number of children are working as child laborers and child slaves in the supply chain and some of those companies are Canadian companies, some of those companies are American and European companies. And when these companies work in developing world, knowingly or unknowingly, their suppliers and their petty contractors or subcontractors at local label engage children in slavery. So Canada can also play an important role in it. Mm -hmm.